18 years ago. It's been 18 years. So this is how the story goes. Bob was an active duty military and all the time he was military that we've been in Cheyenne, he would have people's jeeps, trucks, whatever in our garage uh -oh. and would work on them at night or on the weekends or whatever. We were the noisy house in the neighborhood. People grinding and cutting it, vehicles in and out, and blah, blah, blah. Our kids were little. Um, he, I actually would work nights, and he would do that. And so that's where he started building up on his idea. Well, flash forward to he's got 20 years in the Air Force, and they wanted to send him overseas again. And he came home that day and said, guess what I did? And I said, I don't know. He said, well, I retired today. And I said, what? Oh, little notice would have been good. And then the next morning when he woke up, he said, and guess what I'm going to do? And I said, what are you going to do? And he said, I'm going to be self-employed. <laughs> and I said, oh, God, we're going to be broke forever. <laughs> because all that stuff he did in the garage before, he would just put back into his own rig. That's how he supported his habit of Jeeps when he was... Um, in the military. So that was 2000, end of 2004, so officially 2005, January 1, he was he was done and we started TNT, one man shop for a little bit, then you add a guy, then you add a guy. First it was just, he's going to build Jeeps, he's going to customize them. But then he kept noticing and kept using the same things over and over. So then he met another guy and they started getting into manufacturing some parts and coming up with more ideas and we got a place, we got the back shop, that was where he was for a little bit and then we just kept adding on and adding on and now we have two buildings and we do all kinds of stuff. I've been full time since 2010. When we first started I was doing daycare, I did home daycare for 17 years. So I was Bob's sugar mama while he started this thing. Because <laughs> anybody who starts a business, you, you just put your money right back into it the first few years. If you can't live without that money, it's really, really hard to get going, which is why in three years a lot of them just say, forget it, I can't do this anymore. And then you get past that and go, okay, could you just get like $500 a month? Can we pay you $500 a month? And then, then it keeps going and going. You keep adding people and... All of a sudden you are where we are, 18 years later. Bob was at a car show with our daughter, with our old CJ Scrambler that we had. And he was busy talking to some people. And some other people asked her what was on the Jeep. She was probably about 12 or 13 at the time. You know, what is what all does this Jeep have on it? And she said a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And so when Bob started the business, he said, we're going to be this and that customs, because we do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And over time, and it was always with the Amerson symbol, said, but you can't have that symbol in your URL for your website. So it, it ended up getting shortened down to TNT, and then TNT Customs, and then here we are, we're at TNT Customs, that's what... Our, we do business as TNT Customs, but our legal business name is really this and that customs. I visualized when Bob started this that we were going to just be this shop in Cheyenne, Wyoming, you know. And um, way back in the day, we used to jump in our truck and drive all over and spread the word, go to different events. Um, all of a sudden then you get people bringing your, their Jeeps from all over the country. Um, selling parts all over the country, all over the world. We sell parts in a few different countries, ship them off. Uh, I, I guess word of mouth, mostly. Um, friends tell friends. The Jeep world is a is a little cult. It <laughs> is. They all talk to each other and they all figure things out. So that's, that's I guess that's the best. I guess we go to small events and, and it just branches out from there. Both Bob and I are the same as far as, um, we're anal. <laughs> <laughs> Pay attention to details, um, try to keep things running on the up and up, and he's the oldest child, I'm the oldest child, so I guess we're used to being bosses, 
and running the show. So that's just how it is. That's why he has his shop and I have mine. Uh, the only time we've ever really butted heads in 35 years has been over this business. I can honestly say that. Yeah, if I ever get mad at him, it's usually because of work. <laughs> and he's my worst employee. <laughs> Well, I was the original powder coater. I when in 2010 when we we added this whole we got this whole addition on to the shop. We picked up all the powder coating equipment. The couple that had it all beforehand, I was the one who went and got trained by them on how to do it. And then I relay and I train the guys. And I did it for a long time. That was my job in addition to the accounting because. I came from doing daycare with 10 kids, which you can imagine is a very busy, 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 busy. I thought, well, I can't just sit at my desk all day. What am I going to do? I'll go crazy. So I was doing powder coating too. And at that time, we mostly powder coated our own manufactured products. And now we powder coat for anybody. People bring stuff in and we do all kinds of different things. Lawn furniture, bumpers. I mean, you, you name it. Anything that's metal and can go in the oven, we powder coat it. To learn more about all the great products at TNT Customs, head over to their website at tntcustoms.com.